okay, this is me topping it off. And just like that, summer is coming to an end, guys. Fall cleaning has begun. So what I just did right there was I went in and just moved the pot around to give it more space. You know, depending on the growth of each plant, I move them to a more appropriate spot. So you see those skinny, very high canopy kind of style tree, I move them to the back. And the more bushier, short um, uh, plants, I move them towards the front. And try, just try to like give you a nice view of uh, all the different plants um, so pretty much that they don't get drowned up by the other plants and they get enough sunlight to grow as you can see there my kumquats are doing fabulously well the fruits are looking really really good and the leaves are staying green which is the goal because sometimes they turn yellow and then I start to panic and of course guava is still looking a little bumpy but as you can see here the bigger ones they don't have as much bumps so I'm assuming it might grow out of it so then I did harvest one and you can see that bump right there I cut it in half and it really doesn't look like anything except just like maybe an oddity of the fruit itself um, so yeah I mean I try to cut it open and I try to dissect the fruit up and it looks like actually a normal fruit the center was pretty sweet but the rest of the fruit was pretty bland so we'll see with the next batch um, that's my star fruit tree and the flowers nothing has been pollinated yet so I highly doubt those flowers will survive they're probably just gonna fall off and this is my kefir lime tree the limes are doing pretty well so after moving it I found these kefir limes it basically was it fell off and it was either on the ground or on, on the uh, pot so yeah I didn't even have to harvest them they just fell I'm assuming from the rainstorm we just had and also this lime plant here um, I only have one fruit this year one fruit and I'm kind of glad that happened because it gave me a really nice size one as you can see there um, yeah the rest is just leaves and just bush my papaya tree super tall now it was literally like about a foot or two when I first bought it so yeah significant growth since the beginning of summer my goal is to keep all of my plant fairly short to dwarf all of them so I've been snipping the top off to kind of like top them off. Um, the only one that I'm concerned about so far is the papaya tree so if I um, turn around a little bit. Okay so that's the papaya tree right there as you can see it has grown significantly since the beginning of uh, the summer. I don't want this to become any taller because at the end of the uh, year I have to put all of them into greenhouse my greenhouse and my greenhouse is only about six to seven foot tall I think it's six foot tall so everything has to be that short so I have to trip them off to like make sure trim them off to so make sure that they all fit in the greenhouse so with that in mind I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna top this uh, papaya tree off so wish me luck that it actually works had no vitamin water, so you and I are sharing ginger ale. Okay, this is me topping it off. I took a significant amount off. Hopefully that doesn't kill the plant. Uh, <laughs> and keep it dwarf. So wish me luck. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to shove it into one of the soil. Maybe it'll grow. Maybe some weird stuff might happen. It'll grow into another fine plant. Alright, let's try to do that. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's gonna die, but you know, better than throwing it in the trash. We'll see what happens. Okay, if you enjoy my content, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel for more content. Comment down below if you have any tips or tricks or if you just want to show some love. All right, thank you. Bye.